I buy everything I own. I don't owe the bank. I don't owe nobody. So if I get robbed, I'm done. Tonight, a popular downtown Las Vegas spot has become the target for thieves. Good evening, everybody. I'm Trisha Keen. And I'm Ty Quinones. Some tenants at the container park say that they have been now ripped off for thousands of dollars in merchandise and they want more security. 13 investigative reporter Joe Bartels is live there now near Fremont Street and 7th Street with the steps now being taken. Joe. Contricia is a family friendly venue and it's filled with small businesses, sometimes really small. We're talking one or maybe two person operations at best, and they're really just trying to get their businesses off the ground. But some say there's an unpleasant element that's bad for business after dark. Yeah, a lot of people come in, it's like, oh man, I remember. It's a small shop built on big dreams. I have a few just sitting there. And so called vintage items from the 80s and 90s. Even, we even have comedy shirts. It's called the day after yesterday. That's a paper, and owner Chris Mannon is there seven days a week. Pretty much it's it's agony really. It's it's just hoping that I come the next day and my door isn't popped. His shop hasn't been touched, but at least four other stores not as lucky. One of the cases was actually they broke the glass on it, so and took pretty much everything out of the case. Over at Athena's jewelry box, the manager says crooks smashed and grabbed pricey watches and chains while the store was closed. At least 10 grand in merchandise stolen. They were the first in what now has become a series of break-ins stemming back to February. It's sad because she has put a lot of her own energy. I've definitely put a lot of my energy into the shop and we are the only shop. Now over the weekend, two more break-ins and one attempted break-in. Some managers say cash registers have been tampered with and now they're stepping up their own security. We're hoping that we won't have another one, but like I said, we do have a better security system in place, so that way we can make sure that it won't happen to us. A container park spokesperson said they are aware of the break ins and are working with police, adding, quote, downtown container park has security cameras in place that will help aid Metro in capturing the suspects in addition to a 24 hour roving downtown patrol. However, for the safety and security of our employees and tenants, we do not discuss our detailed security measures we already have in place or disclose each individual tenant's security measures. 13 investigates contacted Metro police and they are aware of the multiple break ins. No word on suspects or even descriptions. Especially me spending so much money every day. I buy everything I own. I don't owe the bank. I don't owe nobody. So if I get robbed, I'm done. No one has been hurt during the burglaries and they've been happening overnight. Store owners are set to meet with police Tuesday to discuss what happens next. Joe Bartels, 13 Action News.